What's up guys, in today's episode we're going to make a really cool ski resort, complete with big jumps and rails and even a spot to go and get a coffee. So sit back, relax and let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to need for our ski slope is a slope. I mean, sorry to be Captain Obvious, but it's pretty vital. So I'll spend a bit of time here forming a gentle slope down, but being careful not to make it too perfect. There's still a few undulations, which are ultimately going to make the ski field a bit more interesting. I have to move a few trees out of the way here as well. And speaking of trees, you can see that I'm using those snowy ones up and around this area for obvious reasons. And I'm also using a couple of the large landscaping decals that are available on the workshop as well on some of these background mountains. After getting this terrain into what I think is a pretty good position, I'll add the snow back in with the oil resource function. So the slope's all sorted, I'm happy with it. I've also changed the time of day so we can see some shadows and the undulations a bit better. Now I wanna put the ski lifts in. I'm using the ski resort pack from the Steam Workshop to do this. It has a fair bit of criteria, including a couple of DLCs, but ultimately it's got everything you need to create a really cool ski field in your town or city. I've got one ski lift going all the way from the bottom of the resort to the top and a couple from a mid area going up various directions. I've also downloaded a couple of realistic chair lifts so these are going to be working in game which I'm really looking forward to seeing. At the top of each chair lift I have to level a little wee bit out in order to make all of this function and give a flat area to the various buildings they have to put up here to make this work. Then comes the main part which is putting in the actual ski trails and it starts with a tunnel going up directly under where I've put the chair lifts so that you can't see the riders returning to the top. Then I'll switch that road to a ground type road and that road obviously is representing our ski trail so I'll just just wind it down the hill making sure to stay somewhere around our chairlift and just sort of weave it in and out and with the terrain until I meet at the bottom and make it a full circle. There's going to be quite a few lines at the end so I'm not really being too particular about how I run them down but I would like to create some lines that are more challenging than others or sort of black diamond runs if you know what I'm talking about. So once I've got this first run in here which is probably one of the more steep ones I want to hook up the bus route and see if I can get this little wee skier working before I put any more in. In the game this bus route we need to put in here to make this work is a sightseeing bus route. Then with advanced vehicle manager I can change the vehicle to a snowboarder rather than a bus. By the way a couple of buses let go down the hill before I get a chance to change it and it looks hilarious. Then I can use the budget manager to set the amount of vehicles going down the line and just see if it all works. In the opening cinematics you would have seen the jumps that the riders were doing and the way we do this is we use a raised road. With the ski resort pack we use the raised road to create like an invisible hill and if we put the right props in place it looks like these riders and skiers are doing a big jump. So now I know that that works I don't want to go too far with it. I want to start putting in all the trees and creating the trails before I really start detailing. So at this point our ski lifts are in the right area. I've got various lines going down about 12 all up and even with the skiers and riders coming down within these trees it looks really cool already. As it stands right now our riders and skiers are just flinging themselves 50 feet in the air for no reason so we need to add a jump in here to make it look a little bit more realistic. As is normally the case I went through a couple of different props here before I settled on something but basically I'm just looking for a big white wedge. It just needs to look like something's been carved out of snow here. 
and then how about a couple of little supporter signs from good old coca-cola on the side of it well actually maybe not so little one of them's like 30 feet across but anyway you're gonna see me here put another ramp in for the riders to land on eventually though i'll settle on a terraforming network here to just manipulate the terrain into a landing ramp rather than using this sort of wedge that we've used as the takeoff ramp but look how cool this looks with these riders going over this. I was so stoked at this point. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to have a little viewing platform here where people could go and stand pretty much right in the middle of this jump and get a really good view. There's so many cool little props that comes with a ski resort pack from the Steam Workshop including fences, trail maps, snow making machines, snow lookout towers and rescue towers as well as heaps of other cool little things so I'm going to spend some time now putting some of those things in. I'm also going to spend an extra amount of time at the top of each of these lifts because there's a little bit extra to put in in these areas. The ski resort pack comes with a skier spawn point but for whatever reason this wasn't working as a sightseeing depot for me. So I had to go and get one from Magic on the Steam Workshop that sort of looks like these round stone stairs within game. So I'm going to use a chalet and carefully hide these. Out the front of that chalet you're also going to see the first of a few props we're going to put down like ski racks and various flags. This is a trend we're going to see a bit more around the rest of the ski field too. So next I want to see if I can make it look like the skiers and riders are going over some sort of a rail and make it look like they're sliding across it. My initial thought was to use the raised road option much like we have with our jumps but on second thought I thought well if I could use a Terra network to lower the terrain below the road this may achieve the same thing with a bit less work. So if I could do that and then find out where the rider was sitting height wise then I could move in various props to make it look like they're sliding across it. So that was definitely the ultimate goal but it took a lot of fine tuning to get it there. It probably took about half an hour and it's still not perfect. The riders aren't really sitting level. Their skis are tipped forward to make it look like they're going down a slope and I can't change that even if they're going across a so called flat piece of terrain but I'm more than happy with it being sort of 80% the way there. It definitely looks more interesting than just having them come down a regular old ski slope. So after about an hour of trying to get that to work and finishing it off, I can finish around the area with fences and a couple of little wee log cabins and various props. At this midpoint of the ski field here, I want to create like a really cool balcony cafe that's only accessible by skiing or snowboarding here. I'm going to start by using a couple of those chalets with procedural objects. Then I'll use a stone wall network to create the retaining wall for that balcony and a stone surface network so that we've got something to put all the tables and prop people on.
buzzing at this point. I can't believe it's all working. I've tried this once before and none of it worked. So I'm so thankful I got it to work this time. And with the little cheer lifts going up and down and heaps of people coming up and down the ski field and using it, it just looks really great. So let's see if we can supplement this now with a heap of props. Let's make lift lines at the end of these runs with fences, trail maps, and just a general area to stop and catch your breath. We've also got our ski trail road coming through here and transitioning into the underground mode. Then we're going to pop up to the top of the lift and I want to put a shed up here to house various equipment that may be used on the ski field. And then things like fences and maybe some lights for at night time. So knowing now a method that I know works for making jumps, I'm going to make a terrain park here at the mid part of the ski field so it's a really good view. There's going to be two 60 foot jumps one after the other and I'm really going to dress these ones up with heaps of supporter signs and stuff like that. I'm then going to go around and add a few different props here and there as well as one vital thing and that's using the traffic manager mod to change the speed of the slopes here and there. I want to make it look faster where it's steep and a bit slower where it's flatter and that also goes for the jumps. I'm going to make it slow down at the peak when they reach the highest point in the air and then speed up a bit before they land. Well guys, I know it's a little bit different from our normal Europe in Detail episode, but you know, sometimes you gotta mix it up a bit. In the next episode, we're gonna turn this into a very detailed little wee village. But if you've enjoyed this episode, hit the thumbs up for me, does me wonders. Take care guys, and I hope to see you on the next episode of Europe in Detail. See ya! <laughs>